Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So only two days are left for your NEET 2024 examination. So in this video, we'll be discussing some very important exam day tips that you must follow. Okay. So we'll be discussing about what things you can carry, what things you should not carry, what about the dress code and the admit card, how to fill it and also some details we are. So please watch this video completely so that you don't face any problem in your NEET exam. Okay. So let us start the video here. Okay. So first is the first and the foremost thing is you have to carry all the important things required documents for your exam. Okay. So here is the list of the things that you should carry and you should not carry. So let us see them. First is your admit card or the hall ticket. Okay. So the admit card has been released on May 2nd. So just download it from the NTA website, take a proper printout of it. Okay. And then with the self declaration, having postcard size photo affixed on the designated space. So if you have seen your admit card, it contains uh, three pages. The first page is your test uh, details and all center details are there. And then there is a self declaration form. In the second page, there is a postcard form. And the third was in, uh, important instructions. So you should complete the self declaration form part and you must also paste the postcard size photo in the designated space. Okay. Now coming to the second one, so you have to fill the self declaration form in legible handwriting. So use do not uh, like don't write in bad handwriting, write, write in such that it can be read. And then your left hand thumb impression must also be clear. Just uh, check that it doesn't get spread or it doesn't get smudged. So do it properly. And then you can carry valid identity, you have to carry a valid identity proof. Okay, so what are preferably you have to carry either the Aadhaar card, e-Aadhaar, Rasan card, or other enrollment number with photo. Okay, so you the if you do not have this, you can carry some other all uh, identity cards that are accepted by the government. So for that, please check your admit card. It is written list of other valid ID proofs also, but that will be considered only if you do not have these things. Okay, so try to carry these uh, identity cards. Okay, next you can carry one personal transparent bottle. Okay, so just check that the bottle is clearly transparent, doesn't have any uh, drawings, anything on it. So it's very uh, like it's summer. So you must carry a good personal transparent water bottle. Okay. Next, you have to carry one additional passport size photograph same as in the application form. This is very, very important. So this is required for pasting in your attendance sheet. So just check the uh, application form, whichever photo you have taken, just carry the same photograph in the passport size size. Okay. Next, do not carry any equipments or electrical gadgets. So apart from these things, you are not allowed to carry anything. No stationary items, no uh, mobile, uh, any Bluetooth item, nothing. Okay, do not carry anything. It will be difficult for you to enter the exam if you have these things. Okay, and the last thing. So if there is any PW candidate, uh, PWD candidates, they must carry their PWD certificate, certificate that is issued by the competent authority. Okay. So this list is very, very important. You can revise once again. First is your admit card. You have to fill the undertaking form and then you have to take your valid identity proof. Preferably, you have to take the Aadhaar card. Then you have to take your personal transparent water bottle and your additional passport size photo, same as in the application form. Other than this, nothing is allowed. Please do not carry any other thing. Okay. So now we will see the self-declaration form. So this is there in your admit card. Okay. So what you have to do is, you have to just first your form is there. You have to write your name, your resident of which area and declaration is there. And here you have to paste the things. Okay. So here is your photo. Candidates photo has to be pasted same as in the application form. That same photo you have to use here. You have to take left hand thumb impression. So it is very, very clear. Do not use right hand. You have to take left hand and that should be clear and it should not get any smudge there. Okay. And the next one is candidate signature. So, so this one you have to sign in the exam day. Okay. Uh, okay. In the presence of invigilator only. So do not leave this space. You have to just do this one, paste your photo and put your left hand thumb impression. Clear. Now next page you have in your admit card, that is your postcard size photo you have to paste. So the size is four into six. You have seen there. And here some, uh, after pasting it, you have to sign on the left hand side. Okay. You can read the instructions here. So the candidate is to sign across the photograph on the left hand side. Okay. So please you sign there. And then after filling this one, you should take your admit card for the exam. Okay. Uh, and other instructions are also there. So please refer to the admit card. Any doubt you are having, read the admit card again and again, and then start filling. Okay. 
Now coming to the second thing, yeah, dress code. So this is one of the very important thing, you know, like the main objective for this dress code is to avoid any type of malpractice. So there is a very tough frisking process in the exam. So you can follow this dress code so that you can easily enter the exam hall and write your exam without any problem. Okay. So uh, there's, uh, first of all, your the male candidates for them, they have to wear only half sleeve shirts. Please remember, do not wear any full sleeve, take half sleeve t-shirts or uh, shirts or t-shirts on the day of the exam. Next, you can wear pant or trousers with pockets are permanent, uh, with permitted. The pants or trousers should be simple. Okay, this is very important. So avoid uh, pants with big pockets, big buttons, collars. Okay, so just uh, shirts with collars you can avoid. So wear very simple dress so that there is no uh, problem at all in entering the exam hall. So don't, this is just a matter of one day, three hours. So just wear as simple as you can. Okay. Next, no heavy clothes with zip pockets, big buttons, sequins, embroideries are allowed. Light and simple clothes are must be allowed. Okay, So just wear light and simple clothes, whichever is very comfortable so that your main target or main objective is to enter the exam hall peacefully and right. Okay? So if you are having any uh, like heavy dresses or something, there will be more checking. So that will lead to some kind of panic which can disturb your mental health and can affect your exam. Okay. Similarly, for girls also or female candidates, there are some uh, rules that is like you are not permitted to carry any brooch, flowers, badges or jeans. So light colored denim pants and half sleeve t-shirts can be worn. So try to make the t-shirts uh, just carry plain t-shirt, solid color, round neck. Okay. So it should not have any fancy printing or anything on it. So try to be as simple and plain dresses you can carry. And then this is brooch, flowers, badges or jeans, no spin, necklace, bracelet is not allowed. Okay. So these things are not allowed. Then uh, yeah, sleepers, sandals with low heels are permitted. So high heels, please avoid girls do not wear high heels and shoes are also not permitted. So just wear flat footwears with uh, low heels. Okay. And next, wallet, belt, cap, amulets, hairband, hairpin, handbags, goggles are also barred. Okay. So these things are also not allowed. So the if you want, if you have any confusion and you want more details, so the source of this information is your Time Now News. Link will be there in the video. You can watch it and just confirm and wear simple dresses that will be not be any fancy or heavy dresses. So just that will be enough to enter the exam hall. Okay. Next is Okay, so here are some tips that you can follow the one night before the exam. So that is take adequate sleep before the exam day. So, you know, like uh, don't uh, read throughout the night, take proper sleep, relax yourself so that your brain is ready for the exam for the next day. Okay, then eat light and healthy meal. Okay, don't eat any junk food which can affect your health on the exam day and you may feel dizzy. So just eat very nutritious, balanced and light meals. Okay. Next, do normal exercises that will help you to sleep better. So then just relax yourself. And after that, sleep on time. Don't revise the whole night. Please don't do this mistake. Don't read at all throughout the night. That will not help you. You are, you are right, going to write a very big exam. So your brain and body needs proper rest. So give it on that day. Okay. Next. Is it okay? So your exam is starting at two o'clock. So you will have lunch and then go. Please take proper meal, eat balanced food, avoid junk food, and then take stay hydrated so that your concentration is there, your focus is there, you're fully ready for the exam. You might think these are very small things, but they impact a lot during the exam, right? So if you are hungry, you cannot focus on the exam. If you are thirsty, you cannot focus on the exam. So just these things are very, very important, though they are small, but they matter a lot. Okay. Next, arrive early. This is very important. Many students are writing NEET exam. So first, plan your route to the exam center. Check the center. Check the Google Maps. Check the um, how far it is, how, how to go to the exam center. Check it one day before. And then reach the exam center at least one to two hours before the gate closing time. So if you have no, you have you can start reporting from 11 a.m. Okay. And the gate closing time is 1.30 p.m. Right. So based on that distance, you, it's uh, there's no problem if you reach one hour before, right? But there will be a very big problem if you cannot reach on time. So just check the communication, uh, check the distance and start early and reach early and be in a very peaceful mood in the exam, okay? So there should not be any panic or any like we can't reach or you did not reach on time. So just avoid all this because these all will affect your exam, okay? 
next avoid last minute cramming so just uh, like one day before one morning before don't study any new things just revise multiple times whatever you have studied so that will like studying at the end point will not help you in any way okay it will just demotivate you so avoid any type of new topic learning at the end point of time just believe whatever you have prepared okay so that will definitely help you in the exam next yes this is very important use restroom so before the exam starts go to the restroom use it properly and then come so that you do not have any disturbance during the exam hall but still there will be some bio breaks will be allowed will not be allowed in the first one hour and the last half an hour of the exam okay no bio breaks are allowed in the first one hour and last half an hour of the exam in between that you can use it but again that will be a waste of time so just prepare from before and then sit in the exam hall okay next stay calm and confident so uh, the last when you are going to write the exam so don't indulge in any type of discussion preparation or what is your level of preparation my level of preparation just avoid all type of gossips stay away from the people with having negative influences okay just stay with your parents who can motivate you who can talk to you freely positively okay so just if you are feeling too much padding just do some relaxation techniques like deep breathing take some meditation okay and just uh, confident be confident okay you have prepared for the exam so exam will definitely go well if you are prepared very well so no need to panic stay confident stay positive and very important is stay focused okay so just think about your uh, exam okay nothing else at this point of time these were some of the exam tips that you must follow in the neat exam so this will definitely help you to improve your scores to perform better in the exam okay so how much you ever you have prepared if your mindset is not correct on the day of exam all preparation will go in vain so it is very very important that you are in a positive and confident mindset for the exam so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe our channel all the best for your neat exam thank you